Hi, my name is Cisco. I'm very happy to be here at the Air Quality Management District. And we're here with my company, which is Acrobotic. I'm the chief engineer to show the Smart Citizen device. It's a combination of electronics with a website in order to record measurements from different sensors, including air quality, namely carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, temperature and humidity, noise levels, ambient light levels, and the number of Wi-Fi networks around you. And it's very easy to set up. It's more of a do-it-yourself solution where you know you get the components, you get the files that we actually use to build the device, and it's a, it's a very open project so that if you wanted to modify it, that's what I mean by do it yourself. If you wanted to modify it, add sensors to it, it's, it's very easy to do so. And the way we started the company was through actually crowdfunding. A friend of mine, he's an architect, and he was thinking what sort of data is missing from cities, and, you know, in the present and in the future. And say, if you wanted to, if you have a newborn child, this was sort of the problem <laughs> that started it all. He had a newborn child, and he wished to know sound levels for the new neighborhoods that he was considering moving into. So he said, well, you know, what, why is that data not available? And, you know, he started thinking, and I, as an engineer, partnered up with him and, you know, started thinking about the problem concretely. So we went on Kickstarter, did a crowdfunding campaign, and it got funded, and we successfully started the company. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the actual device, it's split into two set of electronics and it's actually two different boards. The bottom board collects the data and it actually has a Wi-Fi chip on it that, so that the data can be uploaded if you choose to to, the, to a website that we provide. Or it also has you know, a little slot for a micro SD card so that you can store the data offline. So it has many different options that allow you to collect and report the data. On the top board, it's actually where we host all the different sensors. And those include a carbon monoxide and nit nitrogen dioxide module, a temperature and humidity sensor, a light level sensor, a little microphone that just records ambient noise levels. It can not actually detect your voice or anything. It's just reporting, you know, how much noise around you. And you know, through the Wi-Fi sensor, we can actually detect the, you know, a, a good proxy for electromagnetic radiation around you. The number of Wi-Fi networks. And the whole thing can actually be powered via solar panel that we actually include with a kit. So it can be left outdoors, it can be left indoors, you can plug it into your computer, either to access the data, to recharge the battery. And right now I actually have it connected to the Wi-Fi network here at the AQMD, and it's reporting data. So the electronics of the Smart Citizen pair up with a website, and it's very simple to set up so that you can actually visualize your data. The data can also be extracted directly to your computer, but if you choose to use the website, it's, it's very easy to set up. And there are about 2,000 users of this website right now that are constantly reporting data to, to the web. And the data, again, consists on temperature, humidity, light levels, sound levels, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide. We don't report actual absolute values. It's a relative measure because you know, it's inexpensive sensors so that you know, people can actually get involved, the number of networks around you, and whether a solar panel is connected or not, and how much power is receiving from the solar panel. And this is, I chose a random sensor that is placed in Long Beach, and again, you don't have to give the specific location of the sensor. We respect you know, users' privacy, and we have that under consideration. They can pull a different sensor. This one is in Santa Barbara. And I can zoom out so that you can get a sense of how many sensors, both online and offline, are around the world. There is a big concentration, as one can imagine, around the U.S. and also Europe, because the, the main, the core team of the project is based off of Barcelona. So we're very excited with the present and looking towards the future for this project. We're in fact collaborating with the air quality air quality management district, the South Coast Air Quality Management District, and trying to pair up these devices, these are inexpensive devices, with calibrated, more expensive instrumentation to validate the data. And actually, in that effort, we're developing custom instrumentation, you know, putting our, our expertise or sort of getting involved into the do-it-yourself movement. 
And yeah, it's, it's an interesting place to be. And again, I'm excited to be here. Thank you.